Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here, coach with MatthewSolomon.com, and today's video topic, I wanted to get into shadow work, the shadow side, knowing, uh, acknowledging, interacting, <laughs> accepting, using that part of ourselves that we have been taught to be afraid of, that we have been taught is wrong, that we have been taught to ignore, and, you know, just just look to the light and just be light. <laughs> um, I was uh, listening to Reverend Valerie Love this morning, who's a, a coach that I follow that um, has had a profound effect on me in the last year. And she was getting into this topic too. And she, you know, she was talking about her shadow side. And uh, my coach, Neve Lucas, talking about her shadow side. And I'm, I'm in, I've been in that space and I'm hearing my teachers share from that space. And so from my, I want to share my perspective. And, you know, it's just, it just interesting how it all comes up at the same time. So, so here we are. So what is the shadow side? The shadow side is the fear, the anger, the frustration, the beliefs, the negative beliefs we have about ourselves, the things that we believe are true, think to be true, in some cases want to be true, that hold us back from expressing our true nature, our true God-like nature. And where does it come from? It comes from our upbringing, you know, decisions we made growing up. It comes from... Uh, our parents and their parents and belief systems that go back generations. If you're in the past lives, it, it can come from there. Um, and so, you know, a lot of spiritual teachings over the last 30 years or so have all been about you recognize this, this thing that's negative and you just stop doing that and you focus on something positive and you focus on something positive and you focus on something positive, which is great. And that works until it doesn't. And if it's not working, like, you know, I've been doing that sort of work for years and, and as I've shared before, have only allowed myself to hit certain levels of success for a certain amount of time. Now, why is that? Because somewhere there's a belief that I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, or it's not safe. And as I've been diving into this work more and more over the last six months, the it's not safe has been what's what's been coming up. And I've shared that before, you know, things where um, I was rejected in school by the other kids because I was smart and I had the answers and they felt I was showing off. And maybe I was, maybe I wasn't, but I had the answers and I was excited about it. But I was an outcast. I was made an outcast. Um, you know, there are things like I, I was a, a dancer you know, tap dancer. And I didn't tell anybody about it because uh, there were people that knew that made fun of me because I was a boy dancing, which was supposed to be girl stuff back at that time. Aside from the fact that it, it, it was a good way to meet girls. Um, so, you know, I've been dealing with it's not safe and the frustration and the shame, the shame. That's been coming up a lot too. And you know, I have a series of Facebook Lives that I've been invited to participate in with Lily Claire Love and Neve Lucas and um, um, Siri, Siri Brew Cohen, uh, you know, coming up where, you know, we're just going to be real and talk about that stuff and heal it because it's not something that we are generally used to addressing. And so... Why do we need to know this stuff? Because it's part of us. It's part of you. It's part of me. It's part of what makes me up. And if I don't acknowledge it, then a piece of me is missing. And so just because, just like gravity, right? I don't have to believe in gravity, but if I, I walk out my window right now, I'm going to drop a story. <laughs> um, so if there's this belief in my shadow side that's tell that 
dad hates me. And it's interesting because that's what um, Reverend Valerie said about herself. There's a part of her that hates her. And I was like, oh, fuck yes. There's a big part of me that hates me. That hates me for fucking up. For not being perfect. For making mistakes. For having relationships that have not worked out. For, you know not getting a record deal when I was in the music business, for not having my movie complete yet, for not getting funding last year for another project. For the last relationship I was in. Allowing myself to go through that. Yeah. So when I'm sitting here at night, meditating, doing all my spiritual work sometimes I'm in tears because that part of me that hates me is letting me know how much it hates me but in the past where that may have led to suicidal thoughts because I've had those um, now I recognize that as the access to healing. And the more that my teachers <laughs> share about their similar experiences, the more it gives me permission to do the same. And hopefully me sharing this gives you permission to do the same. It's okay. We all have shit. We've all dealt with shit. We've all, fuck, we all have shit we're going to deal with. And it's okay. And when we recognize that shadow side as, just, as a part of that, something that's there. And, and so the, the, the thing is not to dwell in it, not to get stuck in it, not to marinate in it. It's to see it and acknowledge it and be like, okay, cool. This is a part of me <laughs> that I can use for something. There is a lesson here. There is something for me to get and to start asking questions. That's a big Part of my coaching is asking questions. In fact, one of my clients <laughs> asked me something the other day. She's like, I know you're not going to give me the answer, but you're going to ask me questions that are going to make me figure it out. So ask the questions. What, what do I need to learn from this? What do you want me to know? Hatred. Talk to it. Part of me that hates me. What do you want me to know? And then it's like, okay, cool. Thank you. And the more we integrate this, the more you're able to integrate all of it, that's when we get back to being perfect, whole, and complete, which we are anyway. We just forgot. We don't, or we never knew. Or we forgot. I don't know. <laughs> but we get to integrate. And then we can take that with us. And then we can use the power of the dark side as a tool. Um... You know, Neve was was doing a video earlier today talking about dealing with a neighbor and how, like, you know, if she has to be a bitch to her neighbor who's running their motorcycles at one o'clock in the morning, then so be it. And what I didn't get to say to her, and I hope you're watching now, is it's a tool. You know, you can be, you have your nice tool, you have your, um, you know, political tool, you have your hey, let's, let's keep everything, you know, where you relate to the person tool. And then there's a time where it's a tool to, like, bring out the sword. And like my, my friend Minister Jazz was saying last night on a Facebook thread, like, we, we have work to do. There's stuff to clean up. And the more willing we are to get dirty, the more we're going to clean some shit up. So, you know, I'm sitting in front of my altar, which I've done before on videos, and, you know, it's balance. I have my grandparents and things that belong to them that are meaningful to me. I have, you know, guides and deities that I work with. There's a tree of life. Um, my declaration, affirmation, you know, for, for what I'm working on right now. And... 
There's my sword. Given to me by Sheehan Marcello Aguinet. Because the sword is always there when it needs to be. So that's all I got. I wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be talking more about this. I'll be sharing more about this. Um, yeah. As always, you can reach me at coachwithmatthewsolomon.com. Uh, I have some new one-on-one -on -one coaching programs uh, because I, you know, I was originally doing three and four month programs, which I still am. Three month is awesome. If, you know, if you have a big transformation that you're going through or that you desire in your life. A lot of us are just needing to get through a month. You know, there's a, a move or a relationship or something. You need support with something that's going on right now. So I have a one month program that's, that's all like we, you know, we Skype once at the beginning of the month and then we communicate through messenger or voxer or text whenever something comes up for you i can give you on the court on the spot coaching right then and there there's no maximum number of calls it's like you know shit comes up and you reach out to me and i got your back and then there's uh the one month vip treatment which is the same thing except you get a call with me every week in addition to all of that so if there's something you're dealing with, something you'd like support with, something you're going through right now, I'm here for you. I'm here for you anyway. Reach out. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking and sharing. And I will see you later.